Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Tonight I'm going to be in the garden shooting the Flame Nebula. Now this is a target I've wanted to shoot for quite some time, but I haven't had the wide field scope that I've got set up behind me. So this is a really large target and only just fits in at 430 millimeters. So I'm going to give it a go tonight um, using the ASI 1600 and the narrow band filters. So as you can see, I'm set up at the bottom of the garden tonight because the Flame Nebula goes just behind my house. So I have to go right down to the bottom of the garden in order to, to actually follow it all night. Um, the one problem with that at the moment, the garden is so wet that the grass is just, just sodden. It's just really muddy at the moment. So I'm hoping my, um, my telescope doesn't sink. So I've actually put some boards down underneath it. Um, I'm hoping that that does a job. I thought that it would be better to have something under Beneath the the actual um, the tripod rather than just having the tripod on the um, on the mud and the grass itself. So um, I found some old planks of wood in the in the shed in the garage, um, and I've put that underneath the telescope. So I'll just quickly show you and talk you through my setup now, um, and then I just need to wait for it to get dark and hopefully it stays clear. But this is the setup I'm using tonight. So I have the ASI 1600 mono with the HA filters on there. I have the William Optics Z73, which is 430 millimeters, and the EAF, the automatic focuser, and on top I have the mini guide scope, the 120 mini guide cam, and the ASI Air Pro. All of this is sat on top of the NEQ6 mount. <coughs> Okay, so I'm inside now, I've got myself a beer and I'm collecting data on the Flaming Star Nebula. Now I realised that in my previous piece to camera I've been calling it the Flame Nebula, that is actually a different target um, right next to the Horsehead Nebula in Orion. So I'm not shooting the Flame Nebula, I'm shooting the Flaming Star Nebula. I'm just waiting for my first exposure to pop up on screen and I'll show you what that looks like. But in the meantime I just thought I'd share with you an image I took a few weeks ago. I didn't actually record a, a video for this because it was only a few hours um, and I just had a, a quick break in, in weather. So I thought I'd set up and um, collected a few hours of HA and O3 on the California Nebula. So I've not shot this target before, um, but fairly happy with the, with the outcome, fairly happy with what the image looks like, especially as it's not, not many, uh, many hours of integration time. But I'll put that up on screen so you can see it now. Um, but yeah, like I said, just waiting for that first exposure to pop up and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm shooting seven minute exposures and the first one is just loading now. So there it is, it is just popped up on screen and it looks, it looks pretty good but I think I haven't framed this target correctly. So the main part of the target here the main core of the nebula is here, but I do think it extends down this side. So I think I need to pop back outside, reframe the target, and then collect that first uh, first image again. So I'll show you what that looks like when it finally does pop up on screen. Okay, so I've been outside and I've rotated the camera around and I've collected that first image again. It's just about to load up on screen now. And there you go, you can see that that is framed much better so you can actually see all of the nebula and the, all of the gases that's coming off the flaming star nebula down here. So I'm much happier with that. Um, I'm going to collect as much data as I can. Like I said, I'm shooting um, seven minute exposures. I'm going to try and collect all of my data tonight. It's supposed to stay clear most of the night and I'll put my image up at the end of the video. Um, let me know your thoughts as always. Thank you very much for anyone who has watched this video. Thanks for anyone who's liked it. And uh, thank you very much to anyone who's subscribed to the channel. Um, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one.